Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can use your PlayStation 4 with your PlayStation camera to add a video commentary um, or review maybe on top of gameplay video that you've already recorded on your PlayStation 4 you know so maybe you've you've uh, double tapped on the uh, share button to record a series uh, a video or maybe you've, you've played to play the game and then you've um, pressed the share button and you've recorded you know the last hour or so of the uh, of the gameplay and now you want to go into share factory and you want to add a head with some talking on top of the video to talk about it to do a reaction now it's important to point out as I did in my previous PlayStation camera video but at the moment, on the base PlayStation, you can't be playing a game and recording from the PlayStation camera at the same time unless you're streaming. Because the way it works is that the, the, um, the PlayStation's inbuilt DVR, the thing that records the gameplay, uh, records it apparently straight from the graphics processor on the PlayStation 4. And the overlay that then includes this doesn't get recorded. Um, so the only way that you can have your face on a live gameplay where you're reacting live to it is if you stream it and then obviously you're, you're streaming it live somewhere. Now there is a workaround so that you can then edit that and then chop it up to, to, to make a, a sort of more palatable video rather than just a long straight um, long straight uh, stream. However, this video is all about you've already recorded some gameplay and you want to add a headshot picture in picture video face cam to that um, to that video so let's see how you do it okay so how are we going to combine the uh, gameplay video and then add a uh, a face picture in picture video so that we can upload it all to YouTube we're going to use share factory so if we go into the share factory app like this and uh, we'll do a new project and it will kick us normally into this screen as ever where you can choose the theme you want and I tend to always, always choose the PlayStation 4 theme. Then I get rid of the intro, get rid of the title, get rid of Share Factory's little stinger that they like adding on. And then we'll go down to and we'll work on this video here, a bit of um, Battlefield 1 gameplay. So we'll choose that, then we press the square button and it will generate our project for us. So here we go. So this is the gameplay that I want to record on top of to add my little face to it and it really couldn't be easier now the first thing to do is I tell you what I'm just going to chop the beginning of the video so let's get to there press the square button go to split clip clip press X to split the clip confirm yes delete that first bit confirm yes okay so that that's kind of the beginning of my uh, YouTube video and then what I would suggest you always do to start off with, let's come out of that in a minute, is go into the settings and edit the volume of the bass clip, okay, and take it all the way down to zero. Now you will be uh, putting it back up to probably 20% or 25%, something like that, so you have got some background noise behind your face, but take it down to zero to start off with, and then as you're recording, because you're probably going to be recording with your headset, and you, and you don't really want to be hearing the, the background noise because it can put you off a bit. So uh, I've done that. So now what I want to do is I want to press the uh, X button on my PlayStation 4 controller and we want to add track 2. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me just turn my light on so you can. So when I click this you can see me. Right, here we go. Let's see, uh, add track 2. Yay! <laughs> there I am. Now, I'm not sure if the audio will sync with the lips on what you're seeing because I'm kind of recording this on the PlayStation 4 <coughs> excuse me and through um, through some software as well so so you can see it so we're in share factory now the, what you see on the right is is obviously my PlayStation camera which I'm going to use to add to what you can see on the left now what you can do is if you click on the triangle you can then edit what the PlayStation camera is going to record so we press the square button we can then pan and zoom, or we can do camera tuning. Now, the camera tuning on this is actually a little bit more powerful than the camera tuning that you can get um, in the streaming thing because we can adjust the sharpness, the contrast, and the hue. So that's where you could kind of adjust the color 
con con contrast a little bit and uh, do some color correction, but we're not going to worry about it for now. So we could adjust that if we wanted to. Or if we uh, turn me let go there, can we go into that again? Whoops, wrong one. Uh, or we can pan and zoom, which is a probably probably the one you're going to do. So there's no like auto find on this, like in the streaming options. But what we can do is we can zoom in, like so, using our left analog stick, and then we can uh, pan using our uh, right analog stick. Say to get, say I wanted something like that, and then I can confirm that, and then also. If I press the X button, I can choose what type of uh, presentation I want to do. So I can have a normal, a cutout. So, hee hee. <laughs> Maybe not zoomed in quite so much. Or we could have a green screen or a white screen. Now, we will be doing videos in the future about using green screen and white screen. So it's the effect that weather forecasters have, you know, on the TV where you cut out all the background and it just has you. But for now, we're just going to have normal like this. So I'm happy with that. So I press circle to come out of it. And now I'm ready to record. So if I press the X button, it's going to say, well, what do I want to record? I want to record the video or I want to record the audio. Normally I would have my headset on as well. And that would be plugged into my, um, plugged into my PlayStation controller so I could record the video. But um, I'm just going to use the uh, audio from the PlayStation camera. So I click on record audio. Sorry. <laughs> what are we doing? I forgot what we're doing. We're recording video, aren't we? So click on record video. And it's going to clunk on in a minute. And then dunk. So now we're recording video. And um, now you might be, well be saying, well, wait a minute. It's not appearing on the left. No, it's not because it's, we're going to combine it in a minute. So this is where you'll be going. Yeah, I was having an absolutely uh, amazing game of uh, Battlefield 1 in the Argonne Forest with members of the Gamers Confessional Squad. Fantastic bunch of chaps. Um, we did really well on this game and, and, and had a fantastic time. And I think we went on to win by several, several thousand points. And we all ranked up at least 15 times and were all like major generals. So you, could, you would kind of record that you know, sort of thing. And then press X to stop. And it kind of saves it and sort of sorts itself out. Now, what we can do now is if we hit the square button, what you can now is you can change things around. So first, let's go to, uh, what should we go to? Picture in picture layout. So here we go. So we could have bottom left so you see you see in the bottom left hand screen where it's got like that yellow box so that's where our picture will appear that's where our headshot will appear um, or let's press the square button again we could do something interesting we could do offset something like that now these are all worth playing around with probably the one you're going to use is you're going to use say something like um, bottom left, bottom right. It's going to be in the corner, isn't it? Probably. So for, let's, for the sake of this this video, let's have it in the bottom right. So that's where, where it's going to go. Um, now that's kind of uh, sorted that out. So if we now press circle to come out of this, what you'll see is there we go. So there is. It, it, we haven't done the final render yet, but if I press play on the video from the beginning, you should see me come in and then start to talk. So now, there we go. Video. So that's how we've put picture in picture video to an already a gameplay we've already recorded on our PlayStation 4. And using our PlayStation camera, we've then added that to the video. Now, if at this point you realize, oh, wait a minute, I meant to cut out that first bit of me talking. Again, you press the square button to get into the spanner and you go to edit track two. And once we're into track two, you can then press the square button again to edit it. And you'll notice you've got split clip. So again, you could put a, slip, a, a split in the clip. And this is just in the video clip. And then press square to delete that particular bit of the clip. Now, always remember when you're doing splitting and deleting, press circle to come out of it because it's very easy to, to get yourself into a whole heap of trouble. And then if we wanted to, we could go on a little bit further, say we stopped talking, and then we could press X, record video. And then after a few seconds, 
We say yes. At this point in the uh, at this point in the video in the gameplay, uh, I was uh, reviving lots and lots of people and generally behaving, you know, like a top class assault medic um, with my uh, M1907 rifle and generally, you know, doing my best to keep the uh, keep the attack going. And it all went it all went to plan. It went very very well. So let's stop that and it saves it. And then once we've saved it, we can now press square. And we can go in and we could do something like add a filter. So what filter should we ask? Add, how about, well, game filter, what's a game filter? What have we got? Wind, night vision. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. <laughs> so we've added a filter to that now, which looks pretty crazy, doesn't it? So now we can come press circle to come back. That takes us back to the main screen. And then if we press play, should be able to see me popping in a minute in glorious yes, night vision. So there we go. So it gives an idea of you can play around with these things and add lots of different stuff. Obviously, most of the time, you're going to be doing it very, very simple, nice and vanilla. You're just going to be adding a headshot to your videos to add a review of a game or maybe add some commentary about what you're doing in the game. And it's as simple as that. And then with Share Factory, when you're happy, you hit the triangle, it will generate the video, it will render the video, and you can upload it to YouTube. Um, or Daily Motion, or Facebook, or Twitter, or whatever. And there you've got an amazing piece of technology in the PlayStation 4, combined with the PlayStation camera, where we've got this video creation. I know I keep using this word, but I really do mean it. Powerhouse. There's no need to have a laptop. There's no need to have a powerful computer with the PlayStation 4, and the camera, and a headset if you need it, but you can use the mic that's built into the into the PlayStation um camera you can create picture in picture gameplay reviews and commentary very very easily very very quickly and um, that's how you do it so if you've got any questions about all of this how maybe if you want me to clarify any of the points put them down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very very much for watching and i will see you again soon